Today is Second Chance Wednesday, and I am revisiting one of our most memorable dogs, still looking for that forever home. He's a good boy. Come here. Can you drop? There's a good boy. If there's such a thing as a shelter favorite, get it. Lenny is on the short list. One of the volunteers here made buttons. Lenny! Lenny. His fan club includes volunteers Nancy Pinnell and Cindy Bean. He's a celebrity here. <laughs> He's been here for a while. I'm gonna get you. Come here, come here, come here. Lenny's beaming with joy here in the yard outside the Humane Society for Southwest Washington, but he's a much different dog in his kennel. He often looks sad and withdrawn while he's alone, waiting. Pulls my heartstrings because he's been here for so long. He's just a different dog. You look at him in the kennel and he's kind of got a wrinkled forehead. Lenny's watched dogs come and go all around him. He's been here since August, longer than any other dog. In a shelter, first impressions are everything, and a sad dog doesn't go quickly. He's so playful and he's so fun and he's so sweet. You know, I think the unfortunate thing is when he's in his kennel, nobody sees that. They tell me he's very affectionate and just blossoms when he comes out of his kennel. Hi, Lenny. How are you, baby? You can see we had immediate chemistry when he appeared on Second Chance two months ago. He is apparently one of the shelter's favorite dogs. He was adopted in April. Sadly, a few days later, a family member got sick and Lenny was returned. Now more than ever, Lenny needs that forever home. What you get when you adopt a dog like Lenny is you get unconditional love. You get a dog who, who smiles at you the moment you come around the corner. So Lenny is back here this morning along with Sam Ellingson. He's stolen my heart and I know yours too. Yeah, absolutely. And so there are some specific things that they're looking for at the Humane Society for Southwest Washington in a, ho in a home for Lenny. Can you kind of go over some of those things that he needs? Yeah, yeah, there, there are three things in particular that we want to highlight about Lenny. Uh, the first one is that we, we want Lenny to go to a home without any kids under the age of 12. And that's not due to any aggression towards kids. Uh, he loves kids, likes people a lot. But I think as probably you saw in some of those clips, Lenny's a really strong dog. And he's got energy. <laughs> he yeah. does. He does. Um, so, so when he plays, he can get a little rough. Yeah. And so we just don't want anyone to be knocked down. Okay. So that's the first, um, the first thing we want to talk about with Lenny. Um, the second thing, as you can see, he loves to run. And because he does have a lot of energy, we really want Lenny to go to a home with a fenced-in backyard. Okay. Uh, the bigger the better, you know, I mean, as you can see, he was playing ball pretty much all day when, <laughs> when your crew was out there. Uh, and, and so that's a really, really important thing for Lenny as well. Um, the last thing we want to tell people about with Lenny is that he needs to go to a home without any other pets. Okay. We know that he chases cats and, 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 uh, and small, I don't blame uh, other you. small dogs. Yeah, he's, it's, it's my job. That's what he says. Yeah. Um, but we also know that he can be reactive to dogs. Okay. And um, usually he's going to be reactive to dogs when there's some sort of barrier present, whether it's a leash or a fence he can see through. So uh, just for his safety, for the safety of the other dogs, we suggest that he's the only dog in okay. the household. So just to go over that really quickly, if you've got a fenced backyard, if you don't have any kids under the age of 12, and if Lenny could be your one and only, I think that that would be the perfect home for him. Absolutely. And we'll follow his progress here on Coin 6. Again, he's been at the Humane Society for Southwest Washington longer than any other dog there. So I am really hoping that this story helps and someone sees Lenny and he steals your heart like he has ours. There our phone number 360-693-4746. For more information, you can contact me also. We'll be right back.